Hi, Teal Room. For the next two weeks, we are going to be talking about caterpillars and butterflies, um, and specifically their life cycle. So you should have all received this very, very handy butterfly life cycle. Um, Miss Denise included it, uh, as well as our very cute little um, caterpillar books that we're gonna make together. Uh, so let's go over this together. Um, you can do this daily. This is something I would hold up or I would have exposed in circle time and we would do this daily, um, if not twice a day. So first, there's an egg on a leaf. Where's your egg? Can you find your egg on your paper? And then, I'm so sorry, Fiona wants to say hello. <laughs> Hi, uh, so if you all uh, read yesterday's update, my family did lose our, our kitty this past weekend, um, and it, he uh, really didn't like her to come downstairs where I'm working, so now she has this freedom to kind of come down and say hello and sit on the table without worrying about what he's thinking, so she's just walking across. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> um... <laughs> So first we have an egg on a leaf, and then the egg turns into a caterpillar. Can you find the caterpillar on your paper? Right here, there's the caterpillar. And then the caterpillar is going to eat food, just like in the book we read yesterday. And feel free to keep reading that book. Um, I would definitely be reading that multiple times throughout this theme. Um, after the caterpillar eats food, where does it go? Into his little home, which is called, do you remember the name for that? It has two names. Sometimes we hear it called a cocoon, and sometimes we hear it called a chrysalis. So there's his little home, and he spends some time in his little home. And then when he comes out, is he a caterpillar anymore? Mm -mm. He is no longer a caterpillar. He is a butterfly. That is the life cycle of a butterfly. Nice job, friends. 